Close your eyes and put yourself in the mood to meditate. Remind yourself this is a good thing to be doing. And you're fortunate that you have the time to do it. So as they say in Thailand, lift your mind up to your meditation object. Whatever moods you've had as you've been going through the day, put them aside. And be in the right mood to stay with the breath. And if the mind wanders off, you keep coming back. You do it cheerfully. Because you know you're developing good qualities in the mind that will create a sense of well-being now and also will be good for you in the future. You're finding a happiness that's blameless, doesn't harm anybody, and happiness that lasts. So it's a good activity all around. Our problem is that we drag in our moods from the day, and often that gets in the way. You have to be able to be a master of your own moods. It's one of the reasons why we develop goodwill for everybody, including ourselves. Reminding ourselves that no matter what anybody else does, you don't want their actions, if they're unskillful, to have an impact on your mind. You want your goodwill to be solid, so that no matter what they do, your actions are coming from goodwill. They're actions that you can be proud to say, yes, I did that. Otherwise, you're a slave to other people's moods and actions. This is why we see so much trouble in the world. X does something nasty to Y, and so, so Y feels obligated to do something nasty back. If not to X, then to somebody else. If you're going to pass something on, pass good things on. Don't pass on the, the bad moods you picked up from other people. Learn how to crush them. In other words, see that they're the result of a contact at the senses. And it should have just stopped right at the contact, but you take it inside, drag it inside, and comment on it, get yourself all worked up. So you begin to see that a lot of the problem is in your reaction. Then you can crush that reaction, say, nope, I don't need to do that. Replace it with an attitude of wisdom and an attitude of goodwill. That you're going to keep your mood in the right place confident that you can do something good. That way other people's behavior doesn't drag you down. Because we live in a world, we live in the human world. And there are people with all kinds of karma here. And if you let your karma depend on other people's karma, it's going to go up and down with theirs. And all too often it's a matter of letting theirs pull us down. But you want to remember that you came here, whether you came here in darkness or came in light, you want to go in light. And going in light means that you raise the level of your mind. So that the things that come in by way of the eyes, the ears, nose, tongue, body, and mind don't have an impact. Or if they do have an impact, it's an impact on lifting you even further up. But it's for anything that would pull you further down. Okay, just leave it aside. That's their karma. Leave it as their karma. That way you can look after the health of your mind. When the mind is healthy, it's going to do and say and think things that are good for it, good for other people. Things that, when you look back at them, you're proud to have done. So make your goodness independent, both through your discernment and through your goodwill. And you find that you've got something you really rely on inside. 